Hey everybody, welcome back to another super exciting Art of War stream. I'm super excited because I'm here to join my main man Q Money on his Death Guard journey. Wait. I know, the saga has begun. We are no longer six feet under, now we're more like half a foot under. Half a foot? Uh, half a foot yeah, under. He's underwater thing Death Guard Army. It's looking so cool. You gotta that, check it out, his six feet under series. I know, it's gonna be fun. I'm putting up the next episode. It should be hopefully around the time this video comes out. Awesome. I know. Isn't that cool? I know, right? So what we're doing today is we're going to be building a Death Guard list that Quentin is going to play on stream next week against John and his brand new, brand spanking shiny Space, Space Marines. Marines. They don't stand a chance against the followers of Nurgle. I'm going to make them sick and they're going to have to go home and eat some chicken noodles. This is going to be a tall order. Everybody knows that the new shiny Space Marines are going to be awesome. They're going to rock your socks off. They got all the Space Marine rules. Reading those less rules in 40k. Whole know. new detachments, Nick. Whole new detachments. Whole new detachments. And we're going to have to show them what the Death Guard are made of. Yes. Minus one save. We're made of minus one save. Absolutely. Yes. So if you like this kind of content, do us a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below thinking about your Death Guard list maybe or what you want to see us produce next. But for this video, we are going to be breaking down the Death Guard army, building a, a Death Death Guard list that Quentin wants to play next week on stream mm -hmm. against John Space Marines, and I'm super excited. Quentin, what, what kind of Death Guard are we making today? So, there have been a lot of Death Guard ideas battled around this house. We've had some crazy ideas with 12 characters and a Land Raider, <laughs> we've had all vehicles, but I want to try something a little more normal. So we're going to be trying to build a more balanced Death Guard list today, um, with the exception that I have not allowed myself previously, we're going to take some allies. Wooden. I think I think allies add a lot to Death Guard. Really? What, mm -hmm. do you, what kind of demons do you like? Well, I like Nurglings because they can infiltrate and they're 35 points and sometimes they die and that's okay. That's okay. But you know what else I like? What do you like? I also like Chaos Knights Brigands. I was going off about Brigands earlier. I have an even crazier idea though. What's... What if we maybe took a Rampager? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, want, I just want to make sure we're on the same page about what the list idea is mm -hmm. here because... Earlier, you said you want to start it off with more normal Death Guard. Yes. Not crazy Death Guard. Mm -hmm. And now we're talking crazy Death Guard. Well, I think a crazy Death Guard in my mind is like 12 characters in a Land Raider or like something like that. Where it's like one of every little vehicle. Okay. I mean, we can... We, what, do you, what do you like about the Rampager? It's not that expensive. It hits really hard. It's got a pretty big OC. It's kind of fast. It's fun. Okay. I think I'll probably end up taking Vergans, but I want to discuss it. Okay. Let's, That's the point. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's bust out this this Battle Scribe thing. All right. This not Battle Scribe. This Warhammer 40k app from Games Workshop. Can you believe this is good? Can you believe this I is good? I am shocked. I, know. I Every time I open the app, I'm going to trim this for you. Every time I open the app, I'm surprised by the fact that I really enjoy it and that I use it constantly. Yeah. Yeah, I actually enjoy it. Army list building. Kudos mm -hmm. to G Dubs for doing awesome work with this app. Yep. So, Quentin, should I just start with the Rampage, or is it the first model I'm putting into no, your Death Guard No, because army? I don't know if I want to put the Rampage in yet. The point is, I know I want some allies. Why do you want allies? Why do you want to start your Death Guard army with not Death Guard units? That's well, I wouldn't want to start there. I'm saying I might want to add them. Okay. Want, well, you know, we're going to start with some real Death Guard. Okay. Let's have the Death Guard things that I know I want right now. Okay. Let's just go ahead and add Mortarian. 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 325. Why yeah. is he so good? Because... Is he so good? He, does he do anything? Not really. But he doesn't die, and he makes your army not care about your opponent. The problem is he has, like, seven... He does 17 things, sort of okay, and he's pretty cheap. He's also, like, cost for what he is, it's like, that is so cheap. Yeah. Like, like I expected Mori to be 450, and then I'm upset about it. But no, he's 325, and I'm like, wow, you were so cheap. Yeah. I read his data sheet, and I was like... Wow, this guy is going to cost 500 points, and he's going to be terrible. And then I was like, oh, he's 325? First time I read Death Guard, I, I was reading the data sheets, and I was like, more, more of these data sheets sucks. I'm, I'm just not taking more tier. All these Death Guard players are just on the wrong thing. And then I saw his point value, and I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. So, all right, Mortarian's in. Mortarian's I think in. you start every Death Guard list with him. Well, that's, that's quite braggadocious of you, but he's, I like he's him. pretty good. He adds a lot to the army. Plus, your army can be, can't be slowed down if you're near him. He he's leave. in, Quentin. Stop selling. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying he's good. <laughs> saying he's good. Okay. Um, in the past, I would have also added three Plague Burst Crawlers here. That's where I thought you were going. You said more normal Death Guard. I, I don't think it gets more normal than three Plague Burst Crawlers in Morty. But 
you know, we don't have to. We don't have the mold. to follow the mold. We don't have to follow. Them. My my thought, my crazy thought was, what if we took out the plague risk crawlers and instead we added brigands? So I I disagree with that. And I'll be honest with you. I I get this whole synergy with brigands. I'll just explain it. So mm-hmm. the idea is that Death Guard can play the contagion of minus one armor save, and then all these chain cannons that are normally AP one basically become AP two, and then go up to AP three when they shoot the closest target. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, I hit on twos, chain cannons, AP three, awesome. And also you get like AP six melted guns, and that's just hilarious. Yeah. The- but be, be a redemptor at me now. Here's the thing I like about Plague Burst Crawlers. Mm-hmm. It's not their shooting. I think they're apples and oranges. They have the same similar points cost and similar kind of I sit in the back and I'm a tank kind mm-hmm. of role and I can move up as needed. Um, obviously, OC8 is a big factor. It is, yeah. Um, that's in favor of the of the brigands. But Plague Burst Crawlers have indirect and not like a Havoc Launcher indirect. They have real indirect. They have real indirect, especially when you stack the ignore mods that Morty provides. To me, it's a package. Mm-hmm. And... That lets you change the play style of your army of one that can just sit there and passively and bombard your opponent while maybe deploying teleport homers mm-hmm. or something like that with some nerdlings. Yeah. Um, whereas if you take brigands, you are locked into I'm going forward. That's fair. Um, yes, and like, I I have... How many times have you run Plague Burst Crawlers and you shoot them and sometimes they just don't do anything? So I'm also not of the opinion we need Plague Burst Crawlers. Yes. <laughs> um, my issue with Death Guard right now is that sometimes they can really struggle to kill tanks. Mm-hmm. And they feel like brigands give you like a decent chance. Okay. With melted guns and stuff. Yeah. So my thought was that you have Mortarian in the center, mm-hmm. being awesome. And then we have, like, Plague Marines and Rhinos yeah. and Nurglings, and they're going to score our points. And then maybe we have, like, one unit Death Shroud and then, like, some Brigands, and the Brigands are going to, like, shoot stuff for us and kill them. Okay. I'm, I'm down. Let's, let's build it up. So okay. Let's put some Brigands there. I just wanted to, to challenge the idea that Plague Bridge Crawlers and Brigands were just interchangeable. Because I think while they fit the same point slot mm-hmm. in your army list, they totally change how your list functions. They do, they do. That wasn't yeah. to imply that they're the same thing. It yeah. was more that they're about the same points cost. Let's actually hold off on the brigands for now. I want to add some... some... I, I will get there. I'm letting you know what my thoughts are. <laughs> okay. But I want to add the Death Guard things. I'm like start the Death Guard with, army with Death with, Guard. I'm proud with of With the flan, okay. So... The first thing you said was Nerglings. <laughs> No, I said we're going to build Death Guard and let's act on the allies. And then I expanded on the allies. Okay. <laughs> Death Guard. Death I God. like Plague Marines and Rhinos. Plague Marines and Rhinos. Um, are we talking just five mans? So, wh- what are your thoughts, Nick? So, we can either do five mans or ten mans. The problem with seven mans is you don't get more like weapons and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, I don't love seven mans. So, I actually like all three point mm-hmm. places for Plague Marines. Because, like, the difference between five and seven is literally two bodies for 30 points. So, it's your cheapest Plague Marine body. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll admit it's, like, one point difference. But here's where it tangibly matters. If you were trying to just use Plague Marines for OC bleh yeah which is really what they are their, their damage yeah, exists mediocre. but like you take you have to take characters to yeah. amplify their damage and then that's its own unit yeah then you probably take tens mm-hmm. but if you, instead of just taking five plague marines 80 points out of here you actually get an in between which is something like no other army gets to make a stopping point at now, mm-hmm. which is seven and seven gets you oc14 which is significant. Which, which is significant against all those OC2 five-man units that exist. And, uh, like, significant, just, like, in a lot of places. Like, if you have six packs of seven Plague Marines a- across your army, that's 12 more Plague Marines. How much math is done on, like, this kills five Marines? Mm-hmm. Well, your Marines are T5 and you seven. seven. That's fair. Seven T5 Marines is... It, a- it's the cheapest break point, too. Okay. How many points is seven? So it's 80 for five, 110 for seven, and 160 for... 10. So 10, 10 I really hate because you pay c- comparatively out the butt for the mm-hmm. last three, but yeah. it unlocks all those extra weapons. Mm-hmm. You're telling me on sevens here now. I'm not married to sevens. I just, I think there's a real there case is a, for okay. sevens. Yeah. So my thought was either we do, I, I agree with you in that I don't like 10 mans because they don't hit hard enough to justify adding characters and stuff. I do like a unit I've been cooking. Yes. So obviously, I think most people just add as much melee as they can into play Marine squads when they yeah. have weapons. I have a unit that is maybe you take one, maybe you take two. You definitely don't take three. I don't. No. Think, of play malignant plague caster, foul blight spawn, joint tag plague Marines with two 
heavy flamer oh, weapons. Yeah, and the flamer the regular unit. flamer weapons. So then it's yeah. got seventy six flamers, slows you down, minus one to wound from the guy, always strikes first. It also comes with five power fists and the heavy melee weapons. And then there's you could have two of them, it's not that expensive. It shoots pretty hard. Overwatch mm-hmm. is gross. Yeah. Why don't we add that package? Let's try it out. Let's try Let's it. Let's try out the Let's flamer, try out the flamer, flamer unit. So it's going to add, add a unit of 10 plague marines here. Okay. Um, do you want to like loosely write the weapons, the flamers, and add yeah. loose? Yeah. Let's do that. Max flamers. 160? 160. Mm. I'm excited. We got them on the 10 man flamer. I put a lot of thought into Death Card. Very little games, though, so I'm very excited for you to test out these ideas. Ah. That's not what I need. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to say we're going to take some flamers. So it's going to be 2x, what is it, the uh, plague spewer? It's 2, I gotcha. I'm going to put heavy plague weapons real quick. Yeah, you're going to take 5 heavy plague weapons across, or, yeah, it's a seven, 5 yeah, heavy yeah, plague because the, the champion gets one. Yep. Then you're going to take 2 plague spewers and 2 plague belchers. And beyond that, just take bubotic weapons. I don't really care. I'm just going to knock right through. Yeah. There's like a random plasma pistol on the champion. Yeah, there's like other stuff. Take yeah. it, it's free. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're going to add this, and then we're adding... A malignant playcaster who is 65. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, he's so good. He, They are a run three type of unit. Yes. So, so here's the thing with, with Death Guard, because when all of your value is that your army is so dirt cheap now. It's Games Workshop has finally priced you appropriately for the trash tier army that you are, yep. that you actually get enough stuff that it's fine. And it's beautiful. So... When you take all the value units of Plague Burst cal- uh, crawl- Crawlers and um, Low Drones and Brigands and Rhinos and Mortarian, you give it Bring It Down. Mm-hmm. And then you take all the value characters, Foul Blight, Spawns, and Malignant Plague Pass. You assassinate. You assassinate. And that's terrible. It's that's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible place to buy yourself. It really is. So I think we should be cognizant of either a character count or a vehicle count. We can pick one direction. Yep. We got we to gotta pick one, not both. I agree. Okay. Okay. So... Right now, we have not committed to either, but this is not a complete character package, and there are no vehicles. Really. Uh, yes, yeah. we're, so, we're, we're not by many points. Yeah. This guy doesn't exist yet. Um, and I feel like these guys probably want a rhino to ride around in. Yeah. Um, they def- That's a rhino kind of unit. Yeah. I mean, I mean, rhinos are 75 now? Rhinos are 75. Okay. Can you just delete those character enhancement thing, unit things? Well, I'm going to copy and paste them later. Oh, okay. Yeah, they might to be copied. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm going to do this. Quentin with the designing. Live designing of army lists right here, folks. Not live, actually, but you get my point. We do this live a lot. We do this live every week. You should like and subscribe. You should. Oh, whatever. Okay. And then I'm going to put these guys under because these are going to indicate that these guys are going... Uh, oh, what did I do? I feel like this makes it hard to read, but maybe not. Maybe not? Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't... It's fine. Whatever. Um... Um, and then I kind of want like two five mans in a rhino just to like hop out and like touch something and then die. Hop out. Yeah, I, I think we we need to pick an, a thing that this army is doing. We're okay. just taking units right now. I know. Are we going like lots of plague marines, six plague marines and so, rhinos? Are the, we adding punch? Is our goal to kill them or is our goal to score points? Oh, that's what I said. Kind of like a like a balanced list. So my thought was we take like three brigands and mortarian ish, and then like plague marines and rhinos. That was my, like, okay. vision. So I'm going to start us off with six rhinos. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So at that point, we're committing to vehicles. Yeah. So we're going to take less characters. Yeah. So we're just taking six rhinos? Yeah. And that's okay. why I don't think we should break it um, up, like, the packages. But that's, okay. you know, however you want to do it. Your list, homie. Um, so six rhinos. Let, let's do five-man plague marines from here on out. Let's start with the packages. Unless you want more packages. No, no, I like I like the one package. The rest get kind of clunky. Yeah, okay. Because only one can Overwatch, etc. Yeah. And I don't want to. I I want. Units. It's more like a, you use one, you lose one, because your opponent can't just let that hang out. No. And then you still have one. But I don't know that we want to go that far down to it. It's a lot of points in slow guys. It is. Yeah. It is. Okay, so keep copy pasting those rhinos. We got six of these coming in. So cool. I don't even know how you did that. <laughs> um, and then we need five five man plague marine squads. So that puts you at 1370. And then I'll put in three brigands right now and then I'll let you catch up. 
The brigands are going to be 160 each. And then, of course, we're giving them the Havoc Launcher instead of the Stubborn. Because the Stubborn is worthless. And now we can, across the game, kill about five Warp Spiders behind a wall. Yep. Assuming they never kill our brigands. Um, what weapons do you want to give the five man squads? I like two of you play weapons and then like a melted gun. Yeah, we could do the melted gun. I, I don't really have a strong opinion here. I'm gonna have the melted gun. We're just gonna do that. Sure. Call it a day. So, six of those. Five of those. Five of those. Five of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so five plague marine units, three brigands, six rhinos, and those characters is 1850. Um, leaves us a little play points to play with, not much. Okay, so you don't need the last one yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so just move those rhinos somewhere. Move the rhinos up here. Move these guys down. Probably not gonna need these. And then you said we're adding, and you added two brigands. I added three brigands. Three brigands. Three brigands. I mean, I just assumed that's. No, that's where that's where I was going. That's. Uh, I'm reading your brains, Quinn. I you think I, I've, I might have written this list at one point. I don't know. No, I don't um, three so. brigands. How many? One sixty-five now. One sixty. One sixty. Ooh. One sixty. And just adding three of these. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. So this is this this right here is the list I had in my head, and the reason I like this is there's just a lot of OC and like weird beef in this. But like this stuff doesn't really make you have to respect it. You have to respect the shooting of three brigands with plus two AP. I'm not gonna lie, Quinn. This is 1850, and that sounds to me like you put in three biologist putrefiers and call it done. That's, I, I so know you give up assassinate you do, technically, but they are so good. They're so good. They're so and, good. And then if your opponent takes bring, they're, they're taking bring it down. You have six yeah. rhinos, three brigands, and mm -hmm. three. But if they also take assassinate, you, them. you can literally put them in a rhino in a, in a corner. Put it, put that whole package in reserve, and just bring in turn three in the corner, and your opponent can't access twelve secondary points. Yeah, I don't know that that's necessarily worth it. But the idea so of having the grenades, no, the there are so many things in the game. Why don't you explain what they do? Okay, okay. So Biology Peach Fires have a few things. The first is they give their unit um, critical hits on fives, mm -hmm. which is really important for a few rules. The first one is that basically every weapon Plague Marines have is lethal hits. So they lethal hits on fives. There's a stratagem for critical, for sustained hits. Or sustained hits too if you jump through 12 hoops and it's a Tuesday and you spin around and it's sunny outside. Um, the point is... That critical hit five is really important for plague marines, and they like it a lot. The second thing is that the violated preacher fire can throw a grenade once per battle, even if someone else has already used the grenade stratagem. So you can just walk out and grenade, grenade. You can um, actually walk out and grenade, 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 grenade. grenade. because they can all <laughs> throw it on the same turn. And then tank shot. And then tank shot. <laughs> so for one CP. You pick a target, and it takes, on average, 12 mortal wounds. So these these Eldar players, I know you, you yourself, Quinn. Yep. These panty little Eldar players showing up with their avatar with fortune, mm -hmm. or these wraith guard with fortune. You're like, I cannot do anything to that. Well, yep. actually, 24 four-ups, every four-up is immortal. Yep. That scoops the avatar. It's egg every time. And like, anything, you know. Redemptor. Redemptor walks up to you, rolls up. Abaddon and his gang, here, take 12 mortals. Yeah. No, it's like crazy. Additionally, he has hyper blight grenades, which are like pretty good weapons. It's a, so he's, each one of these fires a d6 shot blast. So three of them, three d6 blast shots, uh, blast times three. Mm -hmm. Strength five, AP one, AP two. Ooh. Death guard two damage. Yep. So like that hurts. Yeah. No, they're good. Yeah. And they're really cheap. And crit fives. Yeah. Um, so th those are he, just great. Those I think he also has like a three damage pistol if for some reason you need it. So I watched uh, Charity Hammer, right? I was watching a little bit of that. This is a couple weeks ago. And there was Steve, um, well, I can't, the name. Steve the name? Trimble. Steve Trimble. Oh my God. Steve Trimble with his uh, Death Guard was killing people out here with 60 Plague Marine, six Rhinos, Morty. Ugh. And he had, his only characters was Morty and three Putrefires. So we have basically, he had some nerdlings too, taken his list, took 25 Plague Marines out, put f 
five put the Millennium Planecaster and Foul Blight Spawn an, as an additional package mm-hmm. tool. And then we added three brigands. Yeah. And I think that is substantially better. I agree. So the issue is that like Plague Marines are the kind of unit that's very vulnerable to a 17-inch tape measure. Yeah. And the reason why is because like they can never move more than five inches and still do damage. Mm-hmm. So they're just kind of stuck there. Um, so, whereas the Brigands have very respectable range shooting. It's I don't even think it's so much the range shooting. The way this army plays is it literally just drives in the middle of the board and is like, I'm on the objectives. You're going to have to come here. And then the range no longer matters. Mm-hmm. What I like about the Brigands is that they add... Just guns, you know, mm-hmm. like it adds a profile yeah. and, and a new threat. So instead of there being six Rhinos and Morty as your vehicles, now there are six Rhinos, Morty, and three Brigands who are all OC8. You have to deal with that. Mm-hmm. While you're not dealing with that, it's physically painful for you with the shooting that they yeah. provide. Well, what, like, if you drive 60 Plague Marines onto the objectives, your opponent can just park 17 inches away and just take a full turn, like, Revolutionary War style shooting with every gun in their army. And there's nothing you can do about that. Well, not, not totally true. I mean, like, you could sit in your rhino mm-hmm. and then not get out. And yeah. And then, then you have layers to your defense, and then you also have a 20-inch threat range. Which, sure, that what is the difference between 17 and 20? But There's a substantial difference. Yeah, it is a difference. If your opponent's literally 20 inches away from your rhino in midfield, he's not playing 40k. I like brigands. I can appreciate. That. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to assume that. I don't want to make it seem like ten plague marines and a rhino is bad because they move seventeen. That's the seventeen twenty rings. That is a no, weakness. No, 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 no. That's not why they're bad. No, no, no. Yeah. They, that is a weakness, and it's not the death knell of the unit. Obviously, I, I like them quite a bit. Yeah. The point is that someone can use range to get around that, and brigands help solve that by having guns. Mm-hmm. So that, that that was my yeah, point: no, no, was that I you have guns right. and guns help. What I'm thinking is this army just. Puts itself on objectives. I mean, oh, yeah. Even if you're just getting shot from 17 inches away and not shooting back. Because brigands might not... They might pass their intervals, you know? Yeah. I've, I've rolled brigands. It's very sad sometimes. They, yeah. Um, you're, it's on your opponent. The onus is on your opponent to table you. You are just scoring points out here. Um, I actually think we could cut one rhino, maybe, if you want, for two nerdling squads. Just I think that's a great help. help you with your yeah. quality of life. Um, um, you can still fit all the play marines in these rhinos. Do we have the points for that? You have five points left. Oh, okay, cool. Their wings are 35. So, do, do, do. I agree. I, I think, like, it's going to be total emphasis on your opponent to kill your Plague Marines and Rhinos. I don't think this is the type of army that gets out either. Unless No, literally. no. This army, like, gets out deliberately with five dudes on an objective yeah. to contest. Or, my, my, yeah. my theory with this was that, like, you stay in the Rhino until you're, like, this unit is getting out for this turn, and then it's going to die. Yeah, and yeah. I actually, I like the idea that you have extra Rhino. So as yeah. units get out, they get back in. Yep. Yeah, that's really good. Like, how often... So there was a game I played against Siegs where he was against Admech. He was Admech and I was Drakari. And he used like random mortals and stuff. And he got one of my Mandrake units down to one model. And the one model Mandrake unit then became like a thing that everyone had to worry about because it was one guy. How often do you kill four Plague Marines and leave the one? If he runs and gets in a Rhino, he can go out and do a button by himself or something like that. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, like, it's, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. The one other thing I'm thinking with this list also, Quinn, is just like against Tau and these armies that have very few instances of shooting, they're just super powerful, they really struggle to kill five rhinos with one crisis unit. They'll kill, the crisis unit will kill like two. Yeah. And then who's going to kill the plague marines? The, wor- the, the worst case is if you, unit, you, then you, can kill them. you split fire is that you're like, I'm going to split fire. Well, that rhino's at two, that rhino's at three, uh, that rhino's at one. That's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, the, the, I think Tao, having done the meta-analysis earlier this week on Monday, they have, they're, they're very popular in the LGT scene, and they just took down Warzone Houston. I think Tao are on the rise here. And this army, I don't know that it hard counters Tao, but it challenges Tao's ability to kill it fast enough. Yes. And that's always a good place to be. Mm-hmm. Are you happy? This, this is fun. I'm excited to play this. I really like it. It doesn't have some of my more favorite Death Guard tools. Like, I don't have an Icon Bear. I love the Icon Bear. I do too. Um, but I, I, I don't want to okay. add too many characters because at a certain point where I have too many points of characters to ignore them. Yeah, it would be like replace Foul Blight Spawn with Icon Bear. But yeah. I kind of like having another Flamer and Always Strikes First. I agree. Yeah, I think that's what the, um, It could be replace Foul Blight Spawn just to lower Assassinate. 
I could see that as an option, but that's play some games, you know. Yeah, I want to see it. Yeah. Um, I feel like if my opponent takes assassinate, I'm gonna sack 150 points and give them like a bad score on assassinate. That is okay too. It's I think the biologist putrefiers are like important enough that you actually play with them though. That's fair. Well, I think it's also meta dependent. Like I, it's they're dependent, they're sure. like a breaking case of something durable. Yeah. Right, because like if something walks like a, I have seven thousand buffs. You're like take fifteen mortals. Yeah. You don't need to use their abilities like that. No, it also but, puts all three of them in the same yeah. spot. But you you can. Is the you can right? Totally like can. like this list otherwise does not have an answer to the avatar. It's also I like that in your army they're all dispersed. I thought about putting in one rhino with like all three of them just hanging. Oh, out. I I wrote a list that was on the the um the Death Guard faction focus um, that was like twelve characters in rhino. Yeah, and it's the world's most dangerous rhino. But yeah. the issue is if you don't kill what you're gonna get out. Then you're everyone's out, and then you were twelve yeah. characters. Need to or like even even beyond that, like your opponent can kill a rhino. Night spinners exist. Like stuff can kill a rhino behind yeah. a wall. If you're behind a wall, you're very limited where you can mm -hmm. go. It's it's way too many points to be in one spot. This is so fluid. I love it. Yeah, I like this list. Also, it it does secondaries for days. It does secondaries for days. You could take fix with this. Uh, yeah, you sure could. You could go storm hostile and deploy all day long. Your rhinos and nerglings deploy and storm hostile. If you're not storming hostile, you're holding. Yeah. Literally, they're, they're sticky. The only way that they unsticky them is if they ta take it. Oh, wow. You have to storm You're hostile. right. That's a great... Yeah. yeah. De I've, Death Guard's great. I, this, I love it, Quinn. Okay. I'm excited to play this army. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm excited too. You should be excited. Next Wednesday, when Quentin does look, I'm so jealous that you get to play this game. Um, you, you get. I get to be there. I get to be there with you in the chat. I'll be working the PC. I'm so excited, everybody. Next Wednesday, you're gonna be there. Be square. Be there or be square. Yeah. Like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave a comment. It really helps us keep producing this kind of content. And if you want to learn how we come up with these list ideas, how they actually work, how to play it, how to position your models on the table, just learn the game, become better at it. Check out The War Room. we got a three-day free trial going on right now, thewarroom.vhx.tv. It'll give you access to all of our amazing content. You'll get to view it all. you get to experience it all. Really enjoy The War Room. Uh, get access to our amazing Discord server where you can talk to coaches like Quinn about Death Guard or whatever factions you want with some of the best players in the world. And if you decide all these wonderful things are not for you somehow, you can just cancel it. We're not a gym. It's super easy. So please help us by helping yourself. And stay tuned, everybody.